Hey guys, this is Echo Sourx, and you're checking out a Logic Pro X tip and trick tutorial video for ADSR sounds. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the drummer track in Logic and get the utmost control over the drummer track by exporting drum patterns into MIDI, and then that frees you up to use those patterns with any software sampler drum machine software that you that you like to use, whether that's machine, battery, contact, the EXS24, doesn't matter. So the drummer, what I would say it's for, in my opinion, is, and you go new drummer track to see it, it's, it, it has a few, I guess, really specific purposes. And if you're a singer-songwriter and you don't play drums and you just want something to scratch to with a piano or a guitar, it's a great tool to write to. It's also, it's also a great tool to scratch out some ideas with EDM. However, it's 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 kind of clunky in that when you use it, even with the uh, the drum kit, the the drum machine designer that that is part of it, you, you don't have a huge. It's not easy to get in and manipulate each sound because the drum machine designer. And we'll look at that right now. I'll load up Dez in the hip hop, but the drum machine designer. This is just a nice fancy skin for Ultra Beat, which is the drum synth that's been included in Logic for a long, long time. You can you can now with the with the update to uh, version 10.2.1 drag and drop samples onto this, but it, you still then don't have the full control over this drummer region. You do get control over how simple it is, what sounds you, you hear, like let's say you don't want to kick, you can do that, how soft it's playing and how simple it is, you have control over fill. So this is fairly intuitive for people who don't want to program drums. But let's say you're starting out learning how to actually get in there and program your own drum tracks. Exporting the MIDI from the drummer track can be a great way to learn. And also, I like to use it if I'm in a time crunch, I have to finish a project for a client or for a specific purpose, and I need to just fill things in quickly. I can use this to get the old creative juices flowing, and I actually use it sometimes for fills, and I'll show you that in this video. So this this track right here that's in gold, this is what the drummer audio looks like. And we'll do it in the middle and we'll solo this. All right, so it's, I'll play it with this little demo I have. All right, so it, it sounds kind of dated. It's not the coolest thing. Now I could, of course, swap out the samples to make it sound a little bit better, but I can't control when each individual hi-hat, when each individual snare is played, all I have is control over, let's say I want less hi-hats, I can do this, I can scroll this back, or maybe I want it louder. But I can't do it on an individual basis. So what you can actually do here is we'll just leave this kind of in, uh, we'll just actually make it loud for this. I'm going to turn the fills down so there are no fills. Delete this other one. So this, this, uh, this orange region, you'll notice, it looks different from this, and this red track right here is your general MIDI instrument, software instrument, brings up the piano roll. And you'll even notice that it looks different, but kind of similar to audio, but it's not audio or MIDI. It's this kind of special, special, uh, I guess, region, if you will. So if you right click on it and go to export, go to export as MIDI file, I'm gonna call this ESW Tut Hip Hop. Okay, I'm just going to pop this onto my desktop. And now what, we, what we'll have is we'll have the actual MIDI file that correlates to this drum track. So if you want to get the exact same drum track loaded up, what you can do is load up the Drum Machine Designer, click on the first sample in the first cell. This will load up Ultra Beat. This is actually what's loading in these sounds. So if I play this. All right, you can see that it's kick two, right? not kick one, so the kick's really far up there, which is kind of weird, kind of weird that the kick is laid out like that, but this is where, this is what's actually creating it. So what I can do is we'll do new software instrument track. I will save this as, we'll do save as, we'll do uh, ESW, twit kit, we'll name it in all caps because there's another one there. All right, so then what I, what I can do is you can actually just pull up the Logic Stock, pull up uh, Ultra Beat, and I can drag, I can pull this in. Just grab it off the desktop here, pop it in. Don't want to import the tempo. There we go. And now this will be exactly what that drum track was, but I have actual control over the MIDI. 
So let's say I want to just mute some of the drum hits. They're up here. So I want to mute that second one. I now have control over it. So if you're just starting out, this can be an invaluable tool to learn uh, how to program drum grooves in certain genres. It's also great for, I think, EDM producers if it's just four on the floor. But you can also use this with machine and other samplers, which I actually like to mess around with at times. So let's say you're in an absolute time crunch, you're beginner, intermediate, and you want to just get some things going. Maybe you're just not feeling it creatively. Well, I have a machine kit pulled up here. Machine generally follows its own little pattern of kick, snare, clap, hi-hat, closed hi-hat, and then hi-hat, and then that happens again. Kick, snare, or clap, and then some more hi-hat sounds. So this is going to be all wonky and weird because that kick was happening really high up in the ultra beat sound. What I can do, though, is just if you know the layout of your, of your uh, grooves, you can just really quickly drag and drop and move this MIDI around. All right, so there's a snare. There's a snare, and then let's get this all on to, we can get this all on to uh, the closed hi-hat, because this, this region with all these hits is clearly a closed hi-hat. So let me get machine out of the way so I can see this a little bit better. I'm just going to hit Apple A and unselect these. It's being kind of a pain to grab. All right, so we'll just drag this down. All right, let's say I don't like that straight boom, boom. I want boom. boom All right, so now let me mute the, the one coming from the machine, or I'm sorry, the uh, drum machine designer and the drum track. All right, so now you can see I have complete control over every element in this groove. I didn't have to make it. I can do whatever I want with it. Now, this is where I actually like using this method where I can control what I want. And then I'll go to the drum machine designer, turn it all the way to fills. And we'll just kind of get in the middle. We'll just have maybe one instrument. Now I just have this clap fill happening, which is kind of cool, at four and eight. And of course, let's say you don't know how to build those types of fills, like right here. You could export this as mid. Let's say you're like, what time signature is that? We can actually look at that real quick, and we'll export this as MIDI. So it's a great, great learning tool. So I'm going to export this as a MIDI file. We'll call this uh, fill. Hit, there is the MIDI. Hit no. And now you can see, and you can load up on, in Ultrabeat, you can load it up anywhere you need, anywhere you like. You can actually see, okay, what's happening with the uh, this drum fill region here that was occurring. So you can see that this is kind of how it's happening. It's a really cool learning tool if you're trying to figure those things out. Now for EDM, I think this is really cool if it's four on the floor because then you can just swap out samples, use it with machine, use the MIDI with whatever you want. But I wanted to show you guys that functionality of the drum machine designer, the, uh, the, the drummer track in Logic. You can easily export everything as MIDI, which is really cool because then you don't have to use this simple, soft, loud, complex kind of matrix slider if you don't want to. If you're more intermediate user, more advanced user, and you just want to kind of use these as customizable loops, they are there for you. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know down below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said at the beginning of the video, I am Echo Sourx. Thank you so much for checking this video out. I will see you guys next time.